The Star Motor Company was a British car and commercial vehicle maker based in Wolverhampton and active from 1898 to 1932. At its peak Star was the UK's sixth largest car manufacturer and produced around 1,000 cars a year. Star was founded by the Lyle family who like many other vehicle makers started by making bicycles, in their case in 1893 as Sharrett and Lyle. In 1896 this was changed to the Star Cycle Company. History Foundation and bicycles Edward Lyle built his own first bicycle in the early 1870s and had enough success racing it that he began to build additional bicycles to order. In 1876, he partnered with William Sharratt to increase production, but that partnership only lasted three years. In 1883, Edward Lyle founded the Star Cycle Company. Besides safety bicycles, models included tandems and a pedersen. In 1889 the company purchased a factory on Stewart Street and by 1899, production reached 10,000 cycles per year, and by 1904 Star was the largest Wolverhampton-based bicycle manufacturer. <laughs> Expansion and automobiles Planning for the Star Car began in 1897 when the company acquired a 3.5 horsepower Benz car and used it as the basis for the design of their own car. The early vehicles were heavily influenced by existing car makers and the 1898 3.5 was essentially a single-cylinder 3.5 horsepower Benz and often called the Star Benz. It had two speeds, chain drive, wire spoke wheels, acetylene lighting, electric ignition, and clipper pneumatic tires standard, for 189 liras. Star then purchased the rights to produce Star Benz cars in Wolverhampton and began production at the Stewart Street Works. The cars were now being sold under the Star Motor Company name, a registered subsidiary of Star Engineering Limited, who adopted a policy of building as much as possible in-house. The Star Benz model sold well and around 250 were made. The cars initially sold for £189 but in 1900 they were selling for £168 and the company was producing 20 a week. One a week was being made in 1899, and in the first year, they made their first export sale, to Auckland, New Zealand. Exports became a major part of Star's business, particularly to Australia and New Zealand. In 1891 Lyle had adopted a six-pointed star as their logo which led to a successful suit against Mercedes in 1902 where it was found they had infringed star's copyright with their three- or four-pointed star emblem. In 1900, production had expanded to facilities in Dudley Road and Nelson, Stewart, Ablo, and Dobbs Streets. A two-cylinder three-speed model appeared that year, also, at the Richmond Automobile Club show. Encouraged by founder Edward Lyle, they were also being entered in the 1,000 miles trial where it proved fragile, along with every test or competition for which they were eligible. In 1901, the 7 and 10 with vertical twin de Dion engines and in 1902 a four-cylinder 20 horsepower appeared. In 1903, copying the leading maker, Mercedes, Star introduced a 12 horsepower 4 and set a record of 39 miles per hour, 63 kilometers per hour on a 2 mile, 3.2 kilometers run in County Cork, Ireland under the auspices of the Irish Automobile Club. In addition, two stars ran in the Isle of Man qualifying races for the Gordon Bennett Cup. Neither 10 liter car made it. From 1904 only four-cylinder models were made. In 1902 the Star Motor Company changed its name to the Star Engineering Company. The company rapidly expanded and diversified, expanding the Stewart Street works and obtaining additional premises in neighboring streets. 
The company built a new factory in 1903 on a 40,000 square feet, sit on Frederick Street. Star began to create their own more advanced designs and in 1903 several new models were released. Particularly popular was the Little Star model released in early 1904 which had a 7 horsepower twin cylinder engine and sold for 175 pounds for 1906 there was a new 3261 cc 200 ci 14 horsepower 4 as well as a new 6 the 6227 cc 380 ci 30 horsepower the 6 increased in displacement to 6981 cc 426 ci in 1909 lasted until 1911. The main Star Company continued to make well engineered models up to the outbreak of war in 1914, adding a range of vans and trucks to the output and became one of the six largest British car makers. The Star Cycle Company, run by Lyle's son, also called Edward, had continued in business building bicycles and motorcycles and in 1905 entered the car industry in its own right. The company was affected by the Deep Depression that hit the bicycle industry in 1905. In order to combat the decline in sales Star decided to produce a cheaper car called the Starling that sold for £110. Although the name of these cars was changed to Stuart, the Starling name was readopted in 1907 and production continued until 1909. In 1907, there was a 1,296 cc 79 ci single and a 1,531 cc 94 ci twin and the Stuart Starling after 1907, with chassis from Hopper, a Barton on Humber cycle maker, which sold them as torpedoes. The decision was taken in 1909 to make the Star Engineering Company a limited liability company with the Star Cycle Company becoming a subsidiary company. Joseph Lyle, one of Edward's sons, was appointed managing director of the company. To avoid confusion a new company, the Britain Motor Company was formed in 1909 and the products were badged as Britons. Britain took control of production of the Starling and Stuart and the first two cars were a 2282 cc 139 ci 12 horsepower twin and a 2413 cc 147 ci 14 horsepower 4 the 14 horsepower 10 kilowatts became available as a star in 1910 star proper took advantage of export sales and saw racing success in south africa a 14 horsepower 10 kilowatts winning the Transvaal Automobile Club hill climb and the New Zealand National Hill Climb Championship For 1913 there was a 1743 cc 106 ci Britain which became the 10/12ths in 1914 Stars accorded themselves well in the 1909 Irish Reliability Trial, while a 12 horsepower 8.9 kilowatts won its class in all the hill climbs of the Scottish Automobile Club Trial, where a new 2,862 cc 175 ci 15 horsepower, actually 19.6 horsepower, debuted. It would persist three years. In 1912, Star introduced the torpedo-bodied 15.9 horsepower. Power, with a 3016 cc 184 ci 80 by 150 mm 4 and new bullnosed radiator originally for export it proved aesthetically pleasing and was adopted for all models it was quick as well running an rac trial of 801 mile 1289 kilometers at brooklands at an average 66.75 miles per hour 107.42 kilometers per hour that year the 15.9 would remain in production until 1922 topic <laughs> first world war and after Like many companies during the First World War Star came under control of the government, devoting their output to the war effort. 
Commercial vehicles were made for the British, French and Russian armies but Star's main contribution was the production of aircraft wings and parts for mines. In 1918 the company accepted an order to produce 400 V8 Renault engines but had only built 12 by the time the war ended and military contracts were cancelled. Following the war, prices in the car market fluctuated greatly. Post-war inflation pushed prices up with the cost of some star cars reaching above £1,000, making them effectively unsaleable. However, as the economy entered recession prices dropped dramatically and Star was able to introduce a new range of models at cheaper prices. The 11.9 horsepower model performed well, selling at a rate of 20 a week for the next few years. Post war car production resumed in 1919 with the pre war 15.9 horsepower and 3,815 cc 20.1 horsepower Star, and the 10 12ths Britain models. And in the early 1920s, Star were making 1,000 cars a year from their cramped workshops. Britain, however, went under in 1922, a victim of the post-war economic slump, being bought by C.A. Wait, the last four Britons were exported to Australia in 1929. A more up-to-date model, with a 1,795cc cider valve was introduced in 1921, with the same high quality. The death of founder Edward Lyle in 1921 was a major blow for Star. At the time Star had been attempting to bail out the ailing Britain Motor Company which put the company under a lot of pressure. Edward was succeeded by Joseph formerly head of Star Engineering. Despite these setbacks, Star's entered two 11.9 HPS in the Scottish Six Days Light Car Trials, placing first and second in the hands of R. Lyle and G. G. Cathy. The winner was sold to New Zealand, where it proved dominant in local racing, while a different 11.9 swept the Australian 1,000 mile Alpine test. This car developed into the 1,945 cc 119 ci 12 25ths in 1924, followed by a pushrod overhead valve 12 40ths with four wheel brakes, then a rarity and four speed gearbox, capable of 80 miles per hour, 129 kilometers per hour. It was joined by an 1840th 6, as well as lorries of 25 hundredweight, 34 to 40 hundredweight, and 50 to 60 hundredweight, all powered by the 12 25th engine. Star avoided any major damage as the Britain Motor Company name and facilities were sold off, allowing production levels at Star to continue rising. Topic later years and takeover Despite producing at record levels between 1921 and 1925, making around 1,000 cars a year, Star was still not making much of a profit on their sales. The company continued to release upgraded new models but the time spent making the components and assembling the cars meant Star cars were very expensive in comparison to companies such as Austin and Morris. The mass production techniques embraced by these companies allowed them to produce their cars at much cheaper prices, so while Star continued to produce cars of the same quality and reliability they eventually found themselves squeezed out of the market. Combined with the recession of the late 1920s this meant that Star could only produce 105 cars in 1927. As a result of this star entered a financially precarious state and in 1928 fellow Wolverhampton manufacturer Guy Motors took control through an exchange of shares. Star did continue to exist as a separate company, operating under the name of the Star Motor Company Limited. As part of this new arrangement Star's old factory on Frederick Street was closed down and sold off and production was moved to another of Star's sites on Shoal Lane in Bushbury near the Clino factory. From here came the new 1850ths, a 2470cc CI 6, with wet cylinder liners, duralumin connecting rods, aluminium pistons, seven bearing crankshaft, which in 1930 were redone as the Comet and Planet. 
Star cars were now built entirely under one roof while the workforce was reduced to 250 and the range of models reduced in order to reduce competition with Guy products. Under the management of Guy, Star continued to produce quality cars although they proved to be far too expensive for ordinary people. The Comet, Planet, and Jason models were introduced in 1930, the 1850ths of a horsepower. Jason, proving the most popular, selling at 595 pounds. Various versions of these models were released, including coupes, limousines, and tourers. However, a loss was still being made on every model sold, and with Guy having their own financial troubles, they could not afford to modernize Star's Bushbury plant. With nowhere left to turn a receiver was appointed for Star in March 1932. The spares and manufacturing rights of the company were sold off to Mackenzie & Denley Birmingham, which continued to have Star cars and NOS parts catalogued in 1962, while the Bushbury factory was acquired by Manley & Regulus, who produced plumbing fittings. Star cars main models Topic See also List of car manufacturers of the United Kingdom